All right, so Gus Johnson uploaded an apology video the other day, and like most apology videos, it was pretty bad. Who knows if he's being genuine or not. The video is pretty short, he's very vague, and sometimes he didn't even make any sense. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of people still dislike him a lot, and this didn't help at all. And then other people, I'm sure, are like, yeah, I forgive you, I accept your apology, I'm sure you're changed. But it's really hard to tell, like, what the consensus is here. Like, do people actually think this guy changed, or do people just still hate this guy? Like, obviously, there are going to be people that are going to hate on this guy for the rest of his career. They're never going to forgive him. But it's hard to tell if like his audience is starting to forgive him or not. Like under his video, there are a lot of positive comments, but he could be just deleting the negative ones. And on Twitter, I saw like mostly negative comments, like mostly people just talking about how he's still like the worst person ever, which I guess is what you'd expect from Twitter. So I don't know. I think overall, this video probably didn't help that much and maybe even made things worse possibly even though i'm sure he'll still be able to come back and have a decent following but i guarantee he took a big hit here and it's gonna take a while for him to gain people's trust back and not only do i think it's because of the way he treated his girlfriend and like what he did to her and everything but i also think it's just the way he handled this whole situation you know it was not very mature it seemed like he really wasn't that regretful like right from the beginning when he posted like a twitter post apologizing and it just seemed like some some generic shit you know and then he came back soon after with a video that was pretty tone deaf like i don't know if he made the video trying to allude to the situation with his girlfriend or he just thought it was funny and he didn't really put the two together and just thought it was a good skit you know but the timing of that video was just not good and then he starts getting some more backlash on twitter and he starts blocking people and that's just not the way to go like if you start blocking people you're losing like people know that they're getting to you and it's just not a good look so then he puts out this apology video and i think he probably won over some people but you know i think most people wanted more from him and wanted to hear a bigger explanation or hear him talk about like more about what he did and how he needs to change and everything and i have no problem if people continue to support him and continue to watch his videos but his apology video was not very good, and I don't know if it really helped at all. But also, this is a tricky situation because what he did to this girl is obviously terrible, and he was definitely an asshole for doing it, and it sucks she had to go through that. But now that I've been thinking about this whole situation, I don't know if he should have ever really apologized. Like, obviously, he should apologize to her, and he should continue to make things better with her. But I don't, th I don't know if this is a situation where you necessarily need to apologize to the internet or whatever. And you could say he's apologizing to his fans, but I don't know if that's even really necessary in this situation because I don't think his fans in the first place should have been looking at this guy like a moral figure and like be looking up to him and thinking he can do no wrong and putting all their trust in him. Like this is some guy that's just entertainment to you. Like that's it. You shouldn't be looking at him and being like, he's doing everything right. He's a perfect person. He can do no wrong. Like, no, obviously this guy has some flaws. So I think maybe the best thing he could have done was not have apologized. You know, obviously he decided to apologize and the apology was shit like everyone expected it to be that's why i think he probably shouldn't have apologized i think he should have not have apologized to the public and just apologized to like your ex-girlfriend and all your friends and then taken a long break from social media and gone to therapy and just tried to become a better person and then come back when you know everyone else knows that you're a good person again like when your ex-girlfriend can say that she accepts your apology when all your friends trust you again like right now it just seems way too forced it seems like he only made this apology video because he just wants to continue making videos like right now it's really hard to say confidently that he's learned from his mistakes and he's changed and also apology videos are just so overdone at this point like all right obviously this guy is going to say whatever he can to make people believe that he's a good person and convince people that they should still watch him like that's all he's trying to do here like obviously he does feel bad but in this situation, obviously all he wants to do is save his career. And that's why I think an apology video wasn't the best idea right now, because why is he making the video? Like, obviously he does feel a little bad, but he's mostly making the video because he just wants to get back to making other videos and he wants to try to convince people to continue watching him. You know, he's not making this video for the right reasons and it's way too obvious. Like every apology video, it seems like the person just like, 
I'm saying whatever you want me to say. Like, what do you want me to say to make things better? What do you want me to say for you to continue watching me? It never seems like I'm saying this because I actually feel bad. I know I did something wrong, which is too obvious because the only reason people would make apology videos, I feel like, is to save face. Like, no one's really making it to like actually apologize to people it's just they're making it because they want to stay relevant like i guarantee almost every time an influencer or celebrity gets canceled or people get really angry at somebody or disappointed in somebody the first thing that the celebrity or influencer is worried about is their career you know they're like oh shit is my career gonna take a hit like i need to start doing damage control it's not they're not sitting there like oh my god i'm so sorry i disappointed people i feel so bad no, they're just worried about their career. That's just the reality of things. But I'm sure there are some people that haven't reacted like this. I'm not saying every single person is like this, but for the most part, I think it's pretty obvious that this is what they're thinking. And I think that's kind of what the apology video proves because something like what Gus Johnson was canceled for, this is something that really doesn't have that much to do with his YouTube videos. This is something that like happened in his personal life which I mean, obviously it's something terrible and I'm, I'm not saying that this is some that he should get away with this or anything like that. I'm just saying this is something that really doesn't have to do with his YouTube channel and it's not something he really owes to his fans, I don't think in this situation. And yeah, I'm sure a lot of fans are very disappointed in him and maybe they wanted apology from him. But again, I think in this situation, the best thing would be to just go stay off social media for like, I don't know, like six months to a year or something and just taking time to better yourself and get everyone around you to trust you again and respect you and think of you as a good person. Because apology videos this soon after you get canceled, it seems, it just kind of seems selfish. It seems like I'm doing this because I just want to get back to working, which I mean is understandable, but also at the same time, like I'm sure this guy has enough money where he could take like a six month break and I'm sure you'd come back and you'd still have an audience. And I think if he really proved to people that he was a better person when he came back, then he would still have like a decent sized audience. I think what he's doing right now is not the right way to go about it. Like apology videos and apologies on Twitter and shit, it just all seems too much of like a PR move. And they're just like, I need to do this because I need to save my audience and I need to get people to trust me again. But this is just a really tricky situation and I don't really know what the right answer is. Like obviously what this guy did was terrible and it's understandable that people are angry at him, but do you really think this guy just shouldn't have a career anymore or nobody should watch him? Like obviously it's fine if you hate him and you express your opinion on him, but at this point if people think he's a good person, if his fans think he's a good person and they trust him or whatever and they want to continue watching him, I don't really see a problem with that. If he continues to do bad shit, then call him out for it and people will change their minds, but I think it's best to just let the market decide at this point. Like, even though everything seems kind of forced from him and he doesn't seem very genuine, like, who's to say that he hasn't changed? And who knows if he's a better person? Who knows if he's actually regretful? Like, he could feel really bad about these things. But also he might not you know i don't know it's hard to tell like with the apology video he definitely did not do the best job of proving that he has changed but that doesn't mean he hasn't changed all right so now i want to talk about what happened after the video after his apology video and this is another reason why i think he should not have made this video because in the video he's talking about how him and his girlfriend went to therapy or counseling or something and then his girlfriend tweeted that she's never gone to therapy in her whole life so obviously that's a terrible look on his part because then people are like did he really just make that up which it seems like stupid for him to make that up like why would you even make, need to make that up like just tell the truth but then he apparently posted some receipts from the therapy session and to try to disprove her and then she tweeted again back at him saying that they only went to therapy because he was trying to pretty much convince his girlfriend to allow him to have sex with other girls i guess I don't know, this is just getting really ugly, and this is why that apology video was such a bad idea, because now he looks a billion times worse. Like, everything he tries to do to, like, all the damage control he tries to do here, it all just ends up backfiring on him. Like, the best case scenario with that apology video is his girlfriend accepting it, like, publicly and saying, yeah, I believe Gus is a good person now and he's changed or whatever. But no, we got pretty much the opposite of that. Like she called him a liar basically. And then she brought up how they went to therapy because he wanted to just sleep with other girls. So, I mean, who knows if that's true? Like people are obviously gonna believe her because 
Gus is like the villain here. So this is just not a good look for him. And it's going to be tough. Like I'm sure he's going to try to make a return soon, like to normal videos. And I guess we're just going to have to see where it goes. But I think if he really wants to try to salvage his career, he needs to take a longer break and he needs to get people back on his side. And I'm not saying this because I don't think he should post and I don't want him to post. And I think people shouldn't watch him or whatever. I'm saying this because I think that would be his best opportunity here. I think the way he's going about things, it's just not good. It's not a good look for him. Like none of this is helping at all. I think he really needs to take a break and think things through. Like well, he can take a break and he can still write like skits and everything. Like just do that. It's like, I know it's scary to take a break from the internet, but I feel like that's what he's got to do at this point.